I shouldn't eat the chips though. Oh, I should have the last pastry. That's quieter so it doesn't crunch in the mic. That's much better. I have one last pastry. All right, black removal spell. Oh God, it's got blood curdle in it too. Shit, that's gonna give a bad signal on the way back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, die, sir, thank you. Hmm. I mean, the menace counter is nice. We still take the rare. How you doing, Joe? Welcome. Yikes. I hate passing the blood curdle. It's gonna be really awkward. Dire tactics. We might wield the enforcer. We could just get into this humans deck. I have never actually drafted the humans deck, so maybe that would be relevant. Maybe we can give that a try. Obviously no black and white here. There's an, an okay human. Oh, he's actually kind of bad, but you know what I mean. These things don't work real well. We've got the land and a human. Humans, they do seem to be very um, reasonable. If you can get the uncommon one, uh, the like the uh, that dual human, the black white one, he's been wheeling all day. So maybe we can get lucky. This guy's pretty good. He comes around really late too, so maybe it's poacher. Interesting. I don't like the dark bargain. Tasty pastry time. The last pastry of, of the thing. Boot nipper and human. Lava Brink? I didn't pass one, did I? I didn't pass a Lava Brink. No way. What pastry? It's just a little fruit one. I don't know. don't elevation. Roommates are cooking. Thank you, though. Valve the key to bunch. Sorry for a lot of noises, guys. Sorry about that, guys. You're drafting so fast they can't keep up. I think it's just one player usually that like locks them down. Bug. What's up, Mama Bear? You got a couple more sales on TCG. We can get them in the mail tomorrow. 
Still feeling anxious? Again? Tonight? Wow, you're very ambitious. Mom's talking about going for a jog for a third walk exercise tonight. That's pretty good. She hasn't smoked in 46 days. And since she's been here with me, she's lost some weight. Not bad. I'm putting my weight back on. I'm also- I just ate pastries. After a 12 hour stream? Not really. I almost need to know if I would like to go jogging. I think I would like to be fat. Thank you for the offer though. You called it! You summoned the human! How did you do that? You're like a wizard! What do we hope wheels? Nothing? <laughs> That's really sad. Maybe this cat? Oh, or the finder maybe? No, it's not wheeling. Trittering harvester is pretty good. We have a couple things we can mutate onto, not a bunch though. Whisperer, death touch card. I like the Whisperer a bunch. Okay, well, humans has not been open. We didn't see any of the enchantments, unfortunately. Oh, and we didn't wheel the uncommon, which was another sale. Ah, yes! We did it! If I suggest a metal song, probably not like hardcore metal. Um, if it's like really light maybe, but also you have to be a subscriber to song request. I only do that because otherwise I'll just never, you know, I won't be able to keep up. Two draw. I, I think I want this. It's weird, but I, I'm kind of off the human plan and a little bit more onto the onto the mutate plan. This is actually really good in the humans deck too because we can just put it for white. We're on this game plan, I would like another boot nipper or dirtle bug. tells you uh, the directions lamb also like um, the um, like viewer submitted deck lists I think that one says um, subscribers but I if you know I allow other people to do it as well it's just uh, the subscribers have priority otherwise people will just come in for 10 seconds and then you know, play meme songs and stuff. Which is really no fun for anyone. We did wheel the kitty cat. It mute. It's good for mutating. So. Humans. Take the land, but...
Yeah, uh, the only, we actually made that deck legit. We had three of the white mentors, four footings, and like three cats, and a bunch of other like ones. It was really great, actually. Will you play other formats or just standard? Well, this is mostly a limited uh, stream, but uh, we do play other formats when, you know, when there's tournaments and things. I usually don't go into Moto unless there's a tournament, but... For a deck suggestion? Uh, no, I don't have all the cards for Moto, so... My gosh. Yes! I'm sad we have to pass this Heartless Act, but we already have a Turtle and a, um, a Mythos, so we're doing okay in that uh, department. But oh yeah, come morning, baby! Abby! I'm drafting a little fast. I should slow it down and describe a little bit more. I've been playing Magic for so long today that I'm starting to just autopilot. Divine Arrow is pretty good. Um, yeah, we've been playing for like ten over ten hours. I really like Divine Arrow a bunch. Swallow Hole is pretty good. We don't have a splash, so we don't need Farfinder. Okay, our removal is solid, right? We only have like... Well, I guess now we have two arrows, a Swallow Hole, a Mythos, and a Curdle enough and we have a very premium um, mutate cards I'll take this human he's not that great for mutating but he's better than a lot of the other ones oh and a dire tactics you're right I forgot that was so early in the in the draft I forgot about it yeah that's really premium as much as uh, removal as a girl can hope for, I think. See, this is a late flare. I don't want to just hate it out of the pool because I just don't want to reward someone for drafting that deck over and over again. Glider's great for, for the mutate, right? Get out of there, healers. We're hating all the cards. <laughs> Jellyfish! 14, 48. Does this work? Does it count it as we go? No, it does not. Harvester, so let's get rid of some of this nonsense cards that we don't need. Swallow Hole's good. Checkpoint, that thing's good for mutating. Fine. It's a lot of two drops. I think we gotta get rid of the pump spell. Fighter. Human. This human's not great. 
Valk the key. Mutate, mutate. Bargain. Cat. This thing doesn't- oh, this thing does mutate. This poacher? Keep the draw? The Leosaur is really good with the Cub Warden, but... We can't cast it on its own, so it can't be a mutate target. I'd rather keep the cat. We don't have any good three drops to mutate onto either. Tiger's pretty marginal. Yeah, it's it's literally just good with the uh, the enforcer and the. Like, it can be very good if you're going wide and doing stuff. The other option is we can keep it, maybe get rid of the checkpoint officer. We do have three twos and one three we can mutate onto. Might have to hard cast, like, the Volt the Volt key. We have kind of a lot of fours. Tempted to get rid of maybe this. Or the Oracorn. too optimistic. I, I've had really good luck with it before in this deck. Maybe we could get rid of like a swallow hole. Maybe we have enough removal to where we don't need it. We have one, two, three, four, five removal spells. Kind of a lot. But there's nothing else we can mutate onto, which is a sad thing. This deck feels good. We can find a two drop. This will probably be the last draft of the 12 hour stream just because I'm starting to play bad and draft bad. We has bug. We are on the draw, so we just need a land, and we're looking pretty good, right? We go land, land. It's really, really nice. If not, we have a backup two drop. Oh, we did it! Yay! So then we mutate the Cavern Whisperer or the Volpikeet onto it. Drain again. Oh god, <laughs> it's a mirror match! Oh no. Super mirrors. What a stupid match already. Anyone know how to see the vault progress? You can do it in the files and there's also an app that helps you do it, but I would recommend just making sure you don't, um, um, Don't open the vault at 100, wait till you get to 200%, and if it's always open, you can see it all the time. Once it's full.
I think this guy's about to eat it. But that means I can, I, if I do it now, I can actually cast this, which is nice. Otherwise, I can't cast it. I think he's going to let it resolve. Then it's going to die to a blood curdle. I think we can attack with the general just fine. Oh, flash. I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Jellyfish, huh? I really wish I could hit a fourth land. It would be really sweet. We could just kill him right now with the mutates. That'd be great. Why don't you play lands? I forgot to put them in. draining how much i think we just win now Ooh, that was close though okay land are you serious how is this possible Our removal spell requires us to tap, unfortunately. Pretty sad. And we also would have been not even close if they don't have the keep safe. Ugh. We had so we had three four drop mutates in our hand, we just cast nothing for a bajillion turns. So this one's got a flicker card. Flicker card's scary. Well, we definitely don't want to kill this. Or that. With dire tactics anyway. Play the Vulpiki. We have Chittering Harvester next turn. It's pretty nice. And every turn after that, if it survives. Looks good to me.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I double checked that it was gonna leave one of each untapped and then I cast it and then it tapped all the white. Oh, it is double white to mutate, Never mind. When I, I, when I must've put it out there and it was looking at the single cost and then it's double white to mutate, which is weird because all the other spells are the opposite. So that is very strange. Yeah, that's not gonna stop me from mutating that. We'll still just mutate it and make him sack a bunch of things, right? It makes two one ones and sack. He has to sack a creature. Oh, the, you're right. The green rare also costs more uh, to mute, costs double green to mutate. Uh, but the phoenix costs one less, right? So I guess it's probably like 50 50 maybe of the rare ones. They have no cards in hand. What deck is this? This is a draft deck. Mutate on dog and it's lethal? Probably. I really wasn't trying to find lethal, to be honest. I was just clearing his board. <laughs> I was thinking about mutating onto the thing, and I was like, oh, that's not necessary, we'll just hit him. I just hopped into the stream. Uh, if you ever are curious as to what we're playing, sometimes it's wrong, to be fair. You can always check the stream title. It usually tells you what we're going, what we're doing. Not always, though. Super excited! I should be out of gold in standard best of one. Ooh, nice. Good job, Ish. Hell yeah. Sometimes it's random movie quotes, that's also true. Na, 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 flying beetles. Na, 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 flying beetles, cubs. Flying beetle cub.
Do you have flame spill? That would be really sad. I guess then the cub would still come into play. Nice. So now we get the cubbies. So even if he manages to find a removal spell um, next turn, that's fine because then we can still Chittering Harvester onto that and kill them because they're not going to have enough mana to play a blocker plus, you know, kill this. Can't think that there's very many things that would be able to do that. It would be just Blood Curdle here. Sack that jellyfish. Mutates good. You don't want two more cubs. Um, he has a black mana, so I don't really want to split the resources because if I let it resolve and then he in response blood curdles me, then we're going to feel like garbage. Or even just untaps and blood curdles me. Two more cubs is not as valuable on the board the next turn as having the cub warden dead and the, the chitterer still on board. We were so far ahead, I think splitting the targets is better. The valuable targets, right? I feel like at that point they can't have enough removal to deal with things. If we were to get the two cubs and he says like one removal spell and then like a minus one minus one to the whole team, then we're gonna like be really really sad. Knowing when to split your mutates is the hardest part of the set. Yeah. Um, board evaluation is always one of the hardest parts of magic, I think. You know, and uh, mutates are sort of like, you know, like combat tricks and things like that, uh, or, you know, pump spells or enchantments. Knowing when is best to play those things is always tough. Cub Warden is probably my favorite rare of the set. I get really excited playing that card. In draft. I'm glad you like the deck. Na -na 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 -na, flying. My favorite mythic? That's tough. I don't know, to be honest. I'm tempted to just hold here. Song request. Oh, we're not even gonna bother bother to curdle that. Five mana, right? I 
killing a free sh killing a Strix is so good. It's a spicy meatball. Hmm. There's no stick there, so that feels pretty good. I'm sorry, friend. Actually, I should have made a token and then untapped and killed it. I fucked up lethal there. But I was really excited to just show him the curdle. Our deck is very good. You guys want to do me a really big favor? You guys should totally click that link and go hit the follow button on my Twitter. Much appreciated. Why do you choose Death Touch instead of Life Link for the Boot Nipper? So I've had that question come up a lot, especially because people say on curve you might get in some damage, so you can you know benefit off the Life Link. I'm actually more likely to do it the other way around. This is kind of awkward. We have more black in the deck though than white, I think. Um, our opponent mold. I think we can mold too. Awkward. Hands too slow. Um, so here's the here's the counter argument to that. Is two or four life more important than the card that will inevitably come down that you know you'll want death touch for? You know, in their opening hand, they've got one, three, three, or higher. So that two to four life isn't going to make a difference in the end. Usually it will maybe prolong the game one turn, right? Like, if you're going to lose a game, more often than not, four life isn't going to make the difference. Um, there's very few games where you can gain four and then swing back and win. So I'm not saying it never makes a difference, but it doesn't make a difference as often. But getting two hits and then being able to trade up on a creature, being able to kill their three drop or their four drop is very valuable. Sure, but if you're mutating into a much bigger creature, well, we have two, take it for the, this, this for instance, we have two uh, menacer mutates, right? If we have death touch muta uh, death touch menace, then they when they double block, you're getting much better value. Instead of them double blocking with two three threes and you only getting a minimal trade out of it, you're actually getting a much better trade. Why did I skip through this? That was awkward. I don't know how that skipped. I mean, I was I was chatting, so that's obviously what happened, but unfortunate. That was pretty nice. Let's be mana efficient. Oh. Yeah, let's just be mana efficient. This is actually more damage anyway. Fine. You choose lifelink over death touch usually. 
but that's probably not good. My healer mentality from MMO. I also play a lot of MMOs. Uh, this is probably a cycling death touch card, so I'm not about to block this. Mm. Also not about to mutate more onto this blood curdle here. Let's just let him show us the card. You got it, friend. Cycle a, a counter, a hard counter. Oh, they don't have two blue, that's why. Hey, Lamb, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Ooh, stop drawing so many fucking cards, you bastard. Have a great stream, thank you. I will do my best. All right, let's hope they're starting to run out of stuff. Drain for two and hit them for an extra point of damage. Like a reasonable race. As long as they don't have a, another removal spell. They're getting close to top deck mode. Also puts a on four turn lethal. Helps with the race bunch. Hmm. Tempted to kill that. But if they have like a chittering harvester, we're not going to want to kill that, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we don't want to give them a two turn lethal here. There was no stick, so that's really good for us. Let's not do this. Pretty perfect actually. So we'll say even. Shuts down his whole board and all removal spells they could possibly have. And they're just dead in a turn. Even is super busted in this format. want to block the lifelink? Honestly, I didn't even notice that he had lifelink. Not gonna lie. No, the other one had lifelink for sure, so I don't know if I blocked one with lifelink or not. I don't know. I don't think I did. I think I blocked the death toucher. But I did see that he gained life and the other one that was left had a heart on it, so... I didn't notice. I, I assume they both had death touch. But that's what happens when you play almost 11 hours of magic. You start to not see shit. <laughs> if he had played a creature to block my- if he had played an odd creature to block my dude, that would have potentially been problematic. Na, 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 na. Keep. Can I get a land pretty please? <clears throat> Maybe like four? Hmm. 
I guess I can't. That was awfully nice of them to let me hit him. Happy to get rid of this tactician. They could kill this, but... I actually kind of want the bigger booty because it'll get rid of a lot of the um, like flame spill and stuff. Had four color nonsense end up going three three. Mm. He has no more thingies, so we will. Make him discard. We get our guy gets bigger. Yeah, we have menace, vigilance, and flying. He can't even block us. So as long as he doesn't have a pacifism. Oh, and he got rid of a card, like an actual one. Hell yeah. I drink too much. I tell myself that I can stop. We could see clearly. Peace out. All right. Have a good night, Cooper. Thank you for hanging out with us. Very much appreciated. Did we get rid of the last card in his hand? I think the answer is yes. Make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Vigilance. If we had enough if we had drawn a land or whatever, I would have I would have kept the two things. He top decked a cycler? Must be nice. Mm, now we actually kinda can't block this. Oh, a snare tactician. He has to uh, okay, so I really need the land is what I need. No blocks. If he had a pacifism, he'd do it first. I think if we block, he could like try to chain into cycles. I think that's his only out. Is the goal. I think we just say no blocks and then call it a day. All right, guys, moment of truth. And we hit a third land. Three land, and we will be set. Two land scare you? It's a little scary on the play, to be sure.
but you can't if you mulligan your average deck you know if you were to get an average amount of lands you're not going to end up with three out of three lands out of six because you have a lot less than 50 percent lands so really if you have both colors you don't have a choice but to keep more often than not Oops. There it goes. Had, I've been recording, so I don't have the music up loud enough for me to hear what it is. And I've been hearing multiple songs play, so I apologize for that, guys. I don't want to get blown out by the, um, protection spell, right?
We can race this. <clears throat> we gain if as long as they don't find a removal spell. <clears throat> That's it. Fuck. Maybe we should have killed this then? I don't know. <clears throat> That's definitely not good. <clears throat> Thought about attacking, but I think. Pretty bad. This is the reason I find mutate to be weak. Well, we just happen to draw all of the weak mutates in our deck. All of the weaker mutates, right? <clears throat> mm. Also, like, did you see the other seven, five games that we won with this deck? where we just absolutely crushed. That's the kind of bad thing, right? Like when you're res you're very results oriented, if you're like, yeah, this is bad because of X, but you're not gonna say anything like all of the games where it like absolutely destroyed, right? Like there's a reason I think we're what, five, one right now or something? I think we can afford to take it one more turn. We hit a, if we brick a land, then we're doing okay. We can get one more. It's kind of sad. <laughs> the death touch. We waited last turn, took an extra four damage. We're being out top decked. This is why I hate mutates. The mutates that give stat boost is quite strong if you if it's not hit by hard removal and get out of control. I saw the end of the last one. All 
right, five, two. We needed to block the 4-4 four, four on, on their 2-4. Yes, the thing is, is I was hoping to hit a mutate so that way, or if we hit a removal spell, which our deck has a lot of, then his 4-2 becomes a 3-2 and then we can block next turn, right? I was trying to give myself one more turn. Um, I have a ton of removal that will either straight kill the 2 Four, four, two, or turn him into a three, two, which makes it not trade, right? I think we would have won. I mean, if I had done that, we would have nothing on board, and they had pressure, and we had nothing. So, there's no way for you to th say that you think we would have won if they had cards and we had no cards, not knowing what we were gonna draw. If we had blocked our four, four on their two, four, then we've got nothing left. Okay. And it all stemmed from being stuck on land, right? That's not nothing left. Well, you're saying that because you know that we drew a land. What if we hadn't have drawn a land? What if we drew uh, a, a various blank, right? Then what? Then the correct, and you know, what if we had drawn top deck to removal spell instead, a four mana removal spell, so we can kill his guy, but we can't even make any tokens. And then I'm sure you would have something very different to say. It's all very situational. What are we more likely to draw? LOL. Because you're, you're talking about, okay, block the four, you know, kill the 4-4, four, four, trade with the 4-2, untap, draw land, create two tokens, but we might not be able to do that. It's very, very reasonable that we might not be able to do that. So we just got to fade it. Okay, so it gets bigger. How much bigger? Comes a five, six. Okay. We're still good. Much. Can I get another counter? Oh, I'll keep the bigger butt underneath it. This puts some lethal. This puts lethal to the flyer next turn. I'll keep the planes just in case. This thing had a reach. Um spell? Plus one plus three? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! He stabilized just in time. Hmm. 
This is hard. I'm gonna wait and see. Cause I'd rather get the bug back. Cause we can do both things next turn. This way, if we have to chump the bug, we can get it. No, stop. So if we, oh, we're at 48, I'm just gonna take it. Because if we draw a removal spell, we can kill him, right? At 48, we're golden. Or four, yeah, 43. No! Why? I need... Not that. I guess we, I guess I should have blocked the bug and brought it back, but then it would have had, you know, summoning sickness. Now we have to start doing that, which is unfortunate. Let's kill this before it gets any bigger. Gotta take seven there. We're gonna block with the bug and bring it back. Valpakeet, yeah, Valpakeet, we have two of. We have some outs. Also, we could have drawn a removal spell if he didn't have a, a, if his last card wasn't a creature. I was trying to play into that, <clears throat> which is why I didn't block with the bug. But a Valpaki is still lethal on here, so this doesn't have trample, so that's fine. Now a Valpaki is no longer lethal. Fuck off. Come on, deck. Stop. Okay. Now a Valpakeet might be lethal. We still have... We still have one. Actually, I lied. We don't have... Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, opponent. Brick. Stop. Just shoot me.
this point, it's funny. If we draw a removal spell, is that lethal? I mean, chances are he's got a creature, right? He probably drew a creature. Eight, six, actually, yeah, we, we actually can't. How much can he pump for? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I was counting that. He didn't pump again, so he's got another creature anyway. No way. <laughs> fun. It's good magic. The deck was a lot of fun, though. It had all the pieces. I did not have fun that match, no. You're able to stay so calm? I mean, no, I'm reasonably tilted. We had a lot of really good answers in the deck. Including, like, Menace Creatures would help us get there. Chittering Harvesters. We had another Valpiki. We had multiple Flyers. Blood Curdles. We had some good options. Ball of Hole was still in the deck. We had a lot of, like, basically instant dead things, like Valpikeets. I think that was, like, six or seven lands in a row? We only had... We were only 20 cards into our deck, and I think we only had three or four lands left in the deck. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. If you enjoyed the content, please click the link below to check out our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. Without them, none of this content would be possible, and they've actually given us a 5% off code, so check that out. Also, a big, big thank you to all of you who have signed up for my Patreon. Many of you guys see your names here on this screen, and again, none of this content would be possible without you, so thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.